Very, uh, this is a very quick tutorial just to show how to mimic the multiply blend mode that you can use in Photoshop, but in the environment of web browser in the event that you need like HTML to sign colors, that might be a variable um, to come through on a transparent um, shadow or height map or whatever it might be. So in Photoshop, start with your uh, background image should be just the raw original file. And you're gonna copy that background image and then delete the original one. So you're left with just background copy. Then you're gonna create a new layer called layer one. Um, and then fill that with black, just true zero zero digital black, like that. Um, and then on the layer one, you're gonna select the create mask, which is next to the FX. And then it will create like a white layer thing. Then select the background copy and select its pixels. Um, and then cop Command C, so copy that. Then click Option, click onto Layer One's mask, not Layer One base, but the mask. And then Command V, so paste into. So then you're left with when you dip, when you hide background copy, you should see something like this. Um, and then again, just click the layer mask, not the base the layer mask. Then go to Image Adjustments Invert. Then you should be left with a pretty pure, um, transparent checkerboard. Then go add another layer called layer two and add in, a, fill it with some other color. It doesn't really matter. But for this purpose, it needs to be white. And then on this layer, layer two, carve out well, this step you may not have to do, but depending on what you're trying to do, in this case, we're trying to convincingly make this item be a color that is HTML variable. So then we're just going to do, obviously in real life, you would want this to be extremely precise, but for my need, uh, for the sake of the tutorial. Okay. Then once that's totally like to your satisfaction, delete from that layer too, so you should, then you know you're gonna have a transparent grid. That's what will be affected by HTML, what's in white or whatever color won't be. So then, um, yeah, that's actually kind of it. You save as uh, PNG? No, PNG, yes. Desktop, uh, whatever, sample one. Okay, and that should save. It's slow, sometimes it's fast. Uh, and then anticipate seeing it appear here. There it is. Yes. And so there you go. You have your sheet. And it looks pretty good. Um, and that's it.